a nucleus of material surrounded by electrons orbiting at amazing distances away. If a nucleus of an atom were the size of a golf ball, the nearest electron would be a kilometer away. That's how widely spaced atoms are. So if the electron shells didn't interact with other electron orbits, then nuclei could pass right by each other, and that's what we have going on right here. There's a fundamental law of physics called the Pauli exclusion principle, which says that two electrons cannot have the same quantum states. When atoms touch, when their outer electron shells begin to overlap, electrons are starting to have the same quantum state, so they don't want to overlap. So this keeps nuclei really far from each other, and this is why most of common matter is empty space. I'm quite envious of this. Of what? Well, somehow the robbers were able to weaken the vault wall. High frequency vibrations disrupting its atomic structure, allowing another piece of solid matter through it. In the early part of the 20th century, scientists believed that matter composed of atoms based on the Thomson model. The Thomson model proposed that the atom was a uniform smear of positively charged material with negatively charged electrons interspersed. It was called the plum pudding model. A team led by a scientist named Rutherford challenged that idea because as scientists it's always good to challenge our fundamental assumptions. And what they wanted to do was test the nature of matter. So what they did is took a sheet of gold foil, surrounded it with detectors, and fired a stream of alpha particles through it. They fired these through, and if the Thomson model had held, they would occasionally be deflected ever so slightly. What Rutherford found was that most were deflected by, oh, about a degree, but occasionally some of the alpha particles were deflected much more. Occasionally, very rarely, they were bounced almost straight back at the detector. That implied that the Thomson model didn't work, and what that led to was a more planetary model or a nuclear model, whereas there's a dense core of positively charged material, the nucleus, surrounded by a cloud of electrons in orbit. of all the state secrets 007 could get if you could pass through walls. And it'd be cool military applications. Uh, imagine if you were on a warship and you had an incoming missile. You turn on your vibrator and the incoming missile passes right through your ship. The next stage at looking at atoms and matter is looking at what composes the fundamental particle. Is there a particle of which everything is composed? Right now, science knows that relativity, which describes the very big things in the universe, and quantum mechanics, which describes a very small, don't work together. They don't quite meet. And new sciences like string theory and M theory are an attempt to make those two come together and give us a complete understanding of the universe. And that starts at the subatomic level.